Hi, I am going to show you how to label with all of this nomenclature from redox. I'm going to show you how to label redox reactions. Now, in order to do this, I've already balanced two uh, chemical reactions for you. They're redox reactions. Um, so they're already balanced. That saves us a lot of work. Um, but from this, I can show you how to label. So the first thing you always do, number one, is write the oxidation numbers, okay? Write the oxidation numbers. Here's what we've got to do. We have to figure out which species is gaining electrons and which species is losing electrons. And the only way you can do that is with oxidation numbers. So we're going to use all of our rules. If you haven't done this yet, um, watch my video on the rules for oxidation numbers and watch the video on practicing writing, determining oxidation numbers. They're both under the redox playlist. Okay, so anything in elemental form is zero. A monoatomic ion, so um, one atom with a charge, its charge is the oxidation number, so plus one. Here I have an element in its, um, so elemental form, silver is solid, so that's zero oxidation number. And then this monoatomic ion, the copper is a two plus charge, which means its oxidation number is a two plus. Okay, now you step back and you look and you figure out which species change oxidation numbers. Well, this one, I picked an easy one because we only have two species, copper and silver. So I can see copper changes from a zero to a two plus and silver changes from a plus one to a zero. Write these lines, okay? Do the same as I do with these brackets. Now, this is the most challenging part is looking at these oxidation numbers and figuring out did they lose or did they gain electrons. Here's what you have to know. Whenever you see a positive oxidation number, it means that that has lost electrons. When you see a negative oxidation number, it means it's gained electrons. We're most interested in change from reactant to product. So do this with me. Copper, and I, um, because it's zero, I have this baseline that I call zero right here. Copper goes from a zero, hasn't gained or lost electrons, to a two plus. Well, that two plus is down by two electrons. So going from zero to two plus, I lost two electrons. In that process, reactants to products, it lost two electrons. Let me do that again. You're perfect zero, and now you're down by two. What happened? It lost two electrons. So let's write that down. Lose two electrons. Now I go to my little saying, is this reduction or oxidation? So the saying, remember, is Leo the lion says grr. So we did lose electrons, oxidation. This is oxidation, okay, oxidation. Now let's take a look at the silver. So silver, I'm going from a plus one to a zero. So again, plus one, if this is my zero, plus one means I'm down by one. I lost an electron. So I'm going from this plus one, I'm down by one to a perfect zero. What happened? Well, if I'm down by one and now I'm perfect zero, it gained. From plus one to zero, this gained one electron. Now notice that I wrote one. I'm looking just at the oxidation numbers, but this has a coefficient in front of it. I don't have one silver, I actually have two. So what I've written here is that one silver is going to gain one electron. But if I've got two silver atoms, I'm going to multiply that by two. Total, we are going to gain two electrons. Two electrons will be gained. Now what's that called? Okay, gain electrons. Gain, here we go. Gain electrons reduction. Reduction. So this is called reduction. All right? So the copper is oxidized and the silver is reduced. Let me say it again, copper oxidized, silver reduced. Now to do agents. Whatever is oxidized is called the reducing agent. I abbreviate that RA. Let me write that over here. RA stands for reducing agent. And then whatever is reduced is called the oxidizing agent. This is OA, I abbreviate OA, oxidizing agent. Okay, now I know you're looking at this and remember how I said um, in a previous video, if you're wearing a hat forward, turn it backwards. Everything feels backwards when you're naming redox reactions. Let me try and justify why it's named this way. 
Notice on reduction, when you gain electrons, what happens to the number? It goes smaller, plus one to zero. That number got smaller. So scientists, instead of doing naming it based on what happens, they named it based on what the numbers look like. Like, oh, that number gets smaller. Let's call it reduced. But in reality, it means we've gained electrons. Um, oxygen, this is kind of interesting, or the copper. Um, oxidation, at one time, scientists thought that only oxygen was involved in uh, redox reactions. And so um, oxygen being oxidized, that's why they gave it the word oxidation. Now, reducing and oxidizing agents, these actually make sense. Okay, so whatever loses electrons has to force something else to gain electrons. Remember redox, something has to lose, something has to gain electrons. So if copper is oxidized, it's losing electrons, it's going to force something to gain electrons. And that's why it's called the reducing agent. It forces something to become reduced. Likewise, whatever is reduced, whatever gains electrons, is going to force something to lose electrons. So whatever is reduced, gaining electrons, will force something to be oxidized, oxidizing agent, and lose those electrons. If it's easy, it's just memorize, it feels backwards. Whatever is oxidized is a reducing agent, and whatever is reduced is the oxidizing agent. Okay, let's do another one. And this one's going to be just a little bit more involved. It's not quite as simple as just having two atoms. Okay, so we're going to start with oxidation numbers, right? That's always where we begin. Um, so, number one, oxidation numbers. Oxygen's a minus two. Minus two times um, three is a minus six. The net charge has to equal zero. So that means iron total has to be a plus six. Now, I have two irons, so that means one iron is a plus three. Plus three times two gives me a plus six. You're going to get really good and be able to do these in your head. If you still need to write out underneath the math, great, do it. But as soon as you can do it in your head, you just write out those oxidation numbers. Okay, oxygen has to be minus two. Um, it has to equal zero because there's a net zero here, which means carbon is plus two. Plus two minus two equals zero. Iron all by itself, what's the oxidation number? Big fat zero. Anything by itself without a charge is zero. Okay, let's do the carbon dioxide. Oxygen is a minus two. Minus two times two is minus four. So carbon must be a plus four. Plus four um, plus a negative four equals zero. So we have our oxidation numbers. Now, number two, you're going to um, identify um, species that gain or lose electrons, okay? That's our step two. So step back and look. Can you see two atoms on reactant and product sides where their oxidation numbers change? Let's see, I see iron. We're going from a plus three to a zero. And remember, we always write the oxidation number for one atom. And then I see carbon is going from a plus two to a plus four. Now again, the challenging part, which one's gaining, which one's losing electron. So let's think about it. Iron's going from a plus three to a zero. Again, plus three means we've lost three electrons. So I'm down by three, okay? I'm going from down by three to a perfect zero. It means we had to gain electrons to get up to that zero. So let's write this down. Gain electrons, and then I think, okay, oh, and let's write down that we gained three electrons. Put a three right there. Um, and then I think, okay, gain electrons, what's my saying? Grr, gain electrons reduction. So this is reduction. Um, little side note on this, that's for one iron, but how many irons do I have? Two. See that subscript two? So I'm actually going to multiply that by two because I have two irons. It means we will have a total of six electrons gained or reduced. Six. Um, the iron's reduced and it's six electrons gained. Um, now, whatever is reduced, which agent is that? Isn't just opposite. It's the oxidizing agent. So iron's going to be the oxidizing agent. Okay, now always check yourself. Don't go, oh yeah, so I know everything else is just the opposite. Think it through, check yourself, make sure it's correct. Um, so now carbon is a plus two going to a plus four. So visualize this with me, plus two, I'm down by two. And now when I go to the plus four, I'm down by four. So going from plus two down by two to plus four down by four, we lost two electrons. So we're going to lose two electrons. Okay, so then I do my saying, Leo, lose electrons oxidation. 
So that means carbon is oxidized. That is oxidation. Now that was for one carbon, but how many carbons do we have? Three. So two times three, and then that is going to give us six electrons lost. And whatever is oxidized, what agent is that? It's the reducing agent. It's going to have to force something else to be reduced. So that is your reducing agent. So after you identify um, species that are lost and gained, number three, you label. Um, you label everything. And you're looking for four labels, reduction, oxidation, reducing agent, oxidizing agent. Okay, there you have it. Good work. Thank you. If you need more help, check out the playlist Redox. Thanks so much.